All right. Welcome everyone to my channel. And today we have a challenge on the board. It is an Oliped challenge, Oliped question. The question reads, 7 to the power of x minus 11 to the power of x equal to square root of 77 to the power of x minus 121 to the power of x. What there will be the value of x? Before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Now, in this question, I'm going to use a special approach different from the one you know, I believe. Okay, so it's a new thing you are about to learn even from this challenge. So sit back, stay back as we dive into today's challenge. All right, we take our solution. So let's take our solution then. Solution, solution. Good. We pull down the question, which is yeah, 7 to the power of x minus 11 to the power of x equal to the square root of 77 to the power of x minus 121 to the power of x. Good. Now, what we do here, to handle this radical or to eliminate this radical, we take the square of both sides. Okay, so from here we can say, I put it to writing, say square bird side. So if we take the square of both sides, we're going to have our expression to be 7 to the power of x minus 11 to the power of x, the r to the power of 2, okay, equal to the square root of 7, 7 to the power of s minus 1, 2, 1 to the power of x, r squared. Okay, now this, we take care of this. And so our expression will now become you know, 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s, r to the power of 2 equal to you know, 7, 7 to the power of s minus 1, 2, 1 r to the power of x okay we look at this yeah we're having 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s mind you we can equally bring out 7 to the power of s from here and from this other side we can bring out 11 to the power of s from here how yeah we're going to have 7 times 11 that will give us 77 and yeah 11 times 11 give us 127 so we can rewrite the um right hand side of our equation to be let's bring this down 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s r squared equal to your 7 that 11 r to the power of x minus let put it here minus bracket 11.11 11 all to the power of x because 7 times 11 will give us 77 here we have the power of x here then 11 times 11 will give us 121 there we have the power of x here okay now that has not changed anything now according to the law of indices we see that if you have your a dot b r to the power of s this is a to the power of s dot b to the power of s. So we distribute the power among the quantity we have inside the bracket. So if we succumb to this rule, we can now rewrite this side of the equation to be, here yeah, we have our 7 to the power of s minus 11, okay, to the power of x, r to the power of 2 equal to your 7 to the power of s times 11 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s times 11 to the power of s okay simple as abc now we look carefully here now we are having 11 to the power of x we are having 11 to the power of s so we can factor 11 from because we can factor 11 to the power of s from here let's go ahead and do that and see what it becomes of this and so this will give us our 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s or to the power of 2, okay, equal to our 11 to the power of s bracket 7 to the power of s 
minus 11 to the power of s okay because 11 to the power of s into dx we are left with 7 to the power of s if we use 11 to the power of s to divide this we are left with 11 to the power of x so we have this here comes the beauty of the whole thing look at what i want to do here now here we are having 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s all to the power of 2 and here we have it all to the power of 1 okay so from here i want to introduce another alphabet to represent the whole of this bracket and also to represent the whole of this bracket also okay so from here let's continue on this side all right let's continue on this side okay so we say here uh, let uh, let's pick uh, our alphabet y uh, be equal to uh, 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of s in other words whatever we see 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of x we put down y there okay so this left half side of the equation will now become your uh, all this now implies your y squared because of this then here equal to 11 to the power of x dot y <laughs> very easy okay now from here move this quantity to the left hand side of the equation so we now have y to the power of 2 minus 11 to the power of s or uh, into y everything equal to zero good this is a quadratic equation so we are expected to get two of, uh, values of y from this expression here now so all we need to do is x factor out y from here so if we factor out y we're going to have this to be your y into y into y square we are left with one y there minus y into this we are left with 11 to the power of s close bracket or equal to zero very easy okay this is what i told you at the initial stage that i'm going to use a special formula which is different from the one you know before and now now we succumb to the zero product rule which says that whenever you have expression of this kind equate this to zero equate this to zero so we take the first case here we're going to have this y equal to zero or your y minus 11 to the power of x equal to zero good we take case one from here now so let's take case one so here we have case one what is our case one case one is this expression which says y equal to zero so we put it down we have y equal to zero good here comes the beauty of this again recall we said let y equal to 7 to the power of x minus 11 to the power of x so wherever we see y let's replace it with this expression here now so we can put this into the whole of this so this now becomes your 7 to the power of x minus 11 to the power of x or equal to zero <laughs> good then let's send this to the right hand side so this will now give us 7 to the power of s equal to this is a minus sign crosses the sign of equality it turns to 11 to the power of x how do we now handle this kind of exponential challenge all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 11 to the power of x okay so let me put it down in writing so you have here divide true divide true by 11 to the power of x very easy so that will now give us 7 to the power of x all over 11 to the power of x equal to 11 to the power of x all over 11 to the power of x good of course you know the right hand side of the equation will give us one because this we go with this so we are left with one one here okay now according to the law of indices again this expression you have here says that if you have um, a all over b or e to your s is the same thing as a to the power of x all over b to the power of x so if we apply that here this expression could also be written as 7 all over 
11 all to the power of x equal to 1. Again, let's continue on this other side of our bed. So let's continue on this other side. Okay. Let's erase this. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Look at the expression we have here now. 7 all over 11 to the power of x all equal to 1. Very easy. Remember the law of indices that says that any number, anything, any alphabet raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we can apply that here. The law says if you have your a to the power of 0 equal to 1. Okay, so if it is x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So if we suck up to this law again, then I'm going to have this our expression to be your 7 all over 11 all to the power of x equal to. These b's we can equally introduce it here to give us here 7 all over 11 all to the power of what? 0. God, because this will also give us 1. Okay, so if we go by that, the basis are the same. So since the basis are the same, what happened? They will take care of the cells and equate the exponents. So our S for case one is equal to zero. S for case one is equal to zero. So we've gotten the first um, answer. Okay, this is the first answer. Now let's take case two. Case two of our expression, which is y minus 11 to the power of S equal to zero. So we pull down case two. We have here case two. Good. How do we now handle case two? Let's put down the equation first. Y minus 11 to the power of X equal to zero. Good. Again, we recall where we said, let Y equal to seven to the power of S minus 11 to the power of X. Okay. So if we do that, we now put down expression into the place of y. So if we do that, let's just put it down. Say recur. If you've forgotten, let's just put it recur. We said let y equal to 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of x. So let's replace the whole of this. Yeah. So we're going to have here 7 to the power of s minus 11 to the power of x. Here we have minus 11 to the power of s again or equal to 0. We're having minus 11 to the power of s, minus 11 to the power of s. So automatically, that will give us here minus 2 into your 11 to the power of s equal to 0. Send the whole of this to the right-hand side of your equation. With the negative sign, it turns to a positive. So we're going to have here 7 to the power of x equal to 2.11 to the power of x. Very easy. At this point, what do we do? We are divided again by 11 to the power of x. So again, we say a divide, divide by 11 to the power of x. So if we do that, we're going to have here 7 to the power of s all over 11 to the power of x equal to 2 dot 11 to the power of x all over 11 to the power of x. Before we continue again, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Turn on the bell notification button because we drop wonderful videos, wonderful mathematical challenges every day in this channel. But any of the days we fail to drop a video, expect to or more the next day of it. Let's go back. All right. So here, the 11 to the power of S up here, we take care of the one down here. So we are left with two. Yeah, so this will now give us, we can rewrite this expression like we did in the first case here. Like what we did here now. So this could also be written as 7 all over 11 all to the power of x equal to your 2. Good. How do we now get our x from this expression? So we proceed on this side again. Let's proceed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And erase this guy here. Are you still there? Yeah, I believe you are still there. Let's proceed again. Now, looking at this, how do we get our S from here? So we're going to take log to base 10. No, log to base 10 will give us more stress. So let's take log to base 7 all over 11 of both sides. Okay, that will help the 
issue. Okay, so from here, when I say take log, take log to base 7 all over 11 of both sides. Okay, so if we do that, well, let's say of both sides, of both sides. So if we do that, we're going to have our expression to be here. Um, this now implies log your 7 all over 11 r to the power of s b is 7 all over 11 equal to our log 2 b is 7 all over 11. God. Okay. Now, recall the law of logarithm that says that if you have log m to the power of p b is k said move this guy backward so go to give us here p log m base k so if we succumb to this lower here we're going to have this guy here move to this back so this is going to give us here our x log 17 all over 11 b7 all over 11 7 not 17 please equal to our log 2 b7 all over 11. Okay, good, 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 good. Again, there is a law in logarithm which says that if you have log your a, a base a, this is equal to 1, provided a is not equal to 0. So if we succumb to this rule again, then we're going to have the whole of this will give us 1. And 1 times s will give us s. So on the left hand side, we have x standing on its own equal to log 2 base 7 all over 11. We are almost there. We are almost there. Good, good, good. Yeah. Now we look at this base. This base is not convenient for us to work with. So what do we do? We suck up to the change of base law. Okay? The change of base law says that. Or it states that if you have your log, your x, b is a. We can change this to our log, let's say x, b is b, all over log, your a, b is b. Where b is the new base. So if we succumb to this rule again, we want to change this to base 10. And so we're going to have your s equal to your log 2 base 10 all over log 7 all over 11 base 10. According to this rule. Okay. Now, we still have another rule, which is the division rule of logarithm, which says that if you have um, log your m all over n, okay, base a, this is the same thing as your log m bis a minus log n bis a. We can equally succumb to this rule too to work on this denominator here. So we can rewrite this as our s equal to log, uh, log 2 bis 10 all over your log. 7 bis 10 minus log um, 11 bis 10. Very easy. Okay, so this is the second answer to our exponential equation. So, this is the second answer to our exponential challenge, okay, our lipid challenge, our lipid mathematical challenge. Now, if you get something from this challenge, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any um, question as regard the solving or the procedures from this um, solution, drop it in the comment section. And if everything is clear to you, you learn something new from this um, challenge, from this uh, solving, drop it also in the comment section too. Okay, if you like what is going on in this channel, give our video a thumbs up because it helps to fast track the growth of this channel. Remember, my name is Jake's Animal, and this is All Life Mouse TV. 
I love you so much. And every one of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Why? Because they are always there. Keep watching. We love you. I will keep loving you till the end of time. Bye. For now.